Hello friends, welcome back to our channel for Tech360. In this video, we have solved some important MCQs for QCA Examiner of Patents and Designs preliminary exam on the topic IP legislation in India, WIPO and related treaties. So watch the video till end. Without any further delay, let's get started. Question number 1. IP legislation stands for Options A. International property B. Intelligent property C. Intellectual property D. Intermediate property Correct answer C. Intellectual property Question number 2. Which of the following are not the intellectual property rights in India? Options A. The Designs Act 2000 B. The Geographical Indication of Goods Registration and Protection Act 1999 C. The Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act 2001 D. None of these Correct answer D. None of these Question number 3 What protects the intellectual property created by inventors? Options A. Copyright B. Geographical Indications C. Patents D. Registered Designs Correct answer C. Patents Question number 4 How long do patents usually last for? Options A. 10 years B. 20 years C. 40 years D. 60 years Correct answer B. 20 years Question number 5 Which is not a type of intellectual property? Options A. Trade secrets B. Trademarks C. Home loans D. Copyrights Correct answer C. Home Loans Question number 6 Where is the headquarters of WIPO? Options A. Geneva, Switzerland B. London, UK C. Delhi, India D. Stockholm, Sweden Correct answer A. Geneva, Switzerland Question number 7 The term WIPO stands for Options A. World Investment Policy Organization B. World Intellectual Property Organization C. Wildlife Investigation and Policing Organization D. World Institute for Prevention of Organized Crime Correct answer B. World Intellectual Property Organization Question number 8 Which of the following is not type of patent? Options A. Utility Patents B. Copyrights C. Design Patents D. Plan Patents Correct answer B. Copyrights Question number 9 Copyright Act came into force on Options A. 1957 B. 1999 C. 2000 D. 1970 Correct answer A. 1957 Question number 10 Section 15 of the Patents Act 1970 deals with Options A. Power of controller to make orders respecting dating of application B. Revocation how made C. Examination of application D. Power of controller to refuse or require amended applications etc. in certain cases Correct answer D. Question number 11 When did the Designs Act 2000 came into force? Options A. 1st of April 2000 B. 1st of March 2002 C. 11th of May 2001 D. 23rd of April 2000 Correct answer C. 11th of May 2001 Question number 12 Which of the following is not an intellectual property law? Options A. Trademark Act 1999 B. Patent Act 1970 C. Design Act 2000 D. Customs Act 1962 Correct answer D. Customs Act 1962 Question number 13 The World Intellectual Property Organization was established in Options A. 14th of March 1962 B. 14th of July 1967 C. 14th of August 1965 D. 14th of October 1960 Correct answer B. 14th of July 1967 Question number 14 Patent is a dash Options A. Transferable property 
B. Negotiable property. C. Real property. D. Non-transferable property. Correct answer. A. Transferable property. Question number 15. Budapest Treaty provides for deposit of microorganisms with Options A. Controller of Patents B. State Government C. International Depository Authority D. Contracting States Correct answer A. Controller of Patents Food Tech 360 has launched an online test series course for the QCI preliminary examination. In this course, you will get test series from all the units mentioned in the preliminary exam syllabus. So you will get a clear picture of how the questions will be asked for the exam from these units. You can attend these tests unlimited times from your phone or desktop or laptop. This online test series course is available only in Food Tech 360 Android app. So download the app from the Google Play Store or through the download link given in the description. If you are an iPhone or iOS user, then kindly follow the instructions given in the description to access the app. Since the preliminary examination syllabus is common for all, the aspirants from all the domains as per the eligibility criteria can enroll to this course. Direct link to the course is given in the description. For further queries and guidance, kindly contact us on WhatsApp or app chat section. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Futech360. Thank you.